Don't come for how I'm applying this sunscreen. I do not have time to do layers. Like, come on now. You have hope that if you do protective styles long enough, you have wasted hair. Oh my girl, we don't stop that right now. This is actually upstairs. Right? We came upstairs. There are so many things. There's the Georgian corner, Asian. I think this girl is supposed to be a black doll. Boy, sauce. Like, why is it looking like this? Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophie. So today. I have a get ready with me video out so stay tuned and today I'm actually getting ready to go to Bazari Bazari actually means market in Georgian language yeah and the Bazari I'm going to is Obeliani Bazari they have so many restaurants I made a short video about it but yeah I'm craving the rice I ate there like last year <laughs> so it's time to go because I have a short break and I was like, you know what? Why not? It's spring, my favorite season. Everything is so pretty right now. And also, I have a break from school, so why not? So that's why I'm going. Enough of the talk. So right now, let's just start getting ready. I already moisturized my skin, as you can see. Like I feel like when spring comes, I just glow. Like, like compared to my other videos, am I not glowing? I think I am. And there's not even direct sunlight. Like this is just glow. Anyway, the sunscreen I'm using is Neutrogena. So I'm using Neutrogena sunscreen. If you use this sunscreen, you know that it has a white cast. But why do we use it? We still use it because it is cheap, okay? This is how much sunscreen I use. Yes, I need to be using this much sunscreen. Especially like since the weather is already getting warm and sunny. Don't come for how I'm applying the sunscreen. I do not have time to do layers. I know I'm supposed to like, oh, layer it. Also, don't forget your neck because you don't want fresh face and on fresh neck. Like, come on now. Anyway, compared to other sunscreens here, this Neutrogena actually this Neutrogena actually has less of a white cast. That's why I still use it. Like I like budget-friendly sunscreens, but if I had a choice without budgets, without budget, I would be using Super Goop. I've used Super Goop sunscreen a few times, and let me tell you, there is no cast whatsoever. But that sunscreen is like over thirty dollars, or like thirty dollars or so, and it's a small tube. I cannot check. Anyway, one thing I actually don't even like about spring is like how the weather is just unpredictable. Like right now, I have my fan on because I'm inside and it's kind of warm and I don't want to be sweating while I'm making this video. But I might go outside now and it just gets rainy. It just starts raining or it gets windy. It's just so unpredictable but it's still my favorite season. I don't judge her. She's just a bit moody. She's like, Pepe. is it Papella? Who's that woman from Encanto? She's like that. Okay, so this is the best I can do when it comes to blending out my sunscreen. Which is why I don't like the sunscreen. Like, what's this? And then look at my eyebrows. But you can tell like the coverage is coverage in. And honestly, one thing I've noticed is sunscreen actually works. Like when I stop using sunscreen even for two days like there was a time because anytime i use sunscreen i always have to put like some form of powder or foundation because of the white cast right so there was a time i was like i don't want to do any powder or foundation and i can't go out looking like this so i literally just did not wear sunscreen because i was like you know what i'm just going to go to class and then i'm just going to be right back i did that for like three days and i got pimples I, my face was breaking out and everything but like look at how good my skin looks i'm telling you i give everything to sunscreen because when i was doing my skincare routine without sunscreen my skin wasn't this good my skin wasn't this good if you know me personally which a lot of you don't i have skin i have severe skin issues okay but honestly what changed the game for me was not even um any kind of specific product because i use the cheapest of the cheapest products i'm not gonna lie to you let me tell you my products i use CeraVe face wash which is a good face wash don't let anybody tell you it's always the cheapest of the cheap. like just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's not good um i use CeraVe essay cleanser i use cetaphil moisturizer you can tell like very very drugstore very very much the truthest and then i use neutrogena sunscreen anyway i just clean my eyebrows i feel like that area around my eye will just not be getting enough 
protection from the sun until i can buy better sunscreen so now that i've applied the sunscreen you can literally see that most of the natural glow i had same lighting same everything has gone my face looks a bit duller a bit ashier let's get into the makeup part which is the fun part it's not like i know how to do anything fantastic anyway so considering the weather is warm oh my god my primer is gone <laughs> my primer is gone i'm using like i said the cheapest of the cheap okay but it's still good like just because you're buying all just friendly products doesn't mean that you have to buy bad products okay maybelline is cheap but let me tell you it is one of the good ones when it comes to buying cheap primer so i'm just priming under my eyes my forehead my chin but like those are the main spots i'm priming but i'm going to still spread it all through my face like a bit i put on my primer and i waited for like about a minute and now i'm just going to put like one pump one of foundation one thing i don't like to use cheap of is foundation anyway i'm using lancome i don't know if you can see it lancome I use lancome 24 hour wear and comfort free touch free spf 15 is the spf okay we don't play around with our spf okay so one pump i did one pump and i'm just going to like put it on several places of my head now i just brush i brush 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 downward 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 like with foundation it really goes a long way when i was first learning how to like balance like wear foundation i would do too much and it will end up cakey i promise one pump is enough if you want even more coverage than this um i'm not an expert when it comes to makeup let me not lie but i know that if you want more coverage it's better to go in by layering okay and then right now i'm still looking a bit orange because my sunscreen made my neck look ashy oh yeah now i just blend Then, 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 then. I've not eaten and it's already afternoon because I actually want to enjoy the food that I'm going to order outside. You know, when you eat before you go out to eat, like the food just doesn't look appetizing anymore, and then you end up just getting whatever and not really enjoying it, and then later you'll be regretting because you start craving what you actually missed out on. Yeah, none of that today, none of that today. Just take your time be patient and blend so i think i have done a good job blending and today i'm actually going for like a natural look i'm not even using concealer i'm just going for like a no makeup makeup look but not as glam as an actual no makeup makeup look like i'm not doing my eyebrows i'm not doing like eyelashes eyeshadow i'm not doing contour i'm not doing concealer like what like an actual no makeup makeup look that is just to touch things up you know i want to go in with my i'm not using the powder the brown powder because just too much i'm going in with white powder if you're a nigerian you know this powder okay i think selena gomez sells something like this but in a compressed form if i can find what the product is it's supposed to be like an oil control powder but this will last you 10 years instead of buying one compact powder so i put it here i just go in with this and you just want to take off the excess oil especially like if you're going out in the summer if you're going out in the summer this would really help you might think it looks too matte now especially for people like me that like the glossy finish trust me you will get the glossy finish later and it's just going to be way better when 
you get it later instead of getting it now and then later your foundation is just running down so that's basically all i do as you can see like my face just has this natural smooth finish so next i'm going in with this maybelline 24 hour lipstick it's supposed to be it was this lip balm i bought i mean lipstick for lip stain i bought because it claimed that it will not stain my mask you know trying to wear lipstick under your mask anyway i like it because of this i don't really use it that much anymore but i just use the lip balm part mm -hmm. in with this random lipstick i saw at the mall i actually thought it would be a different color but one thing you should know if the model is not your complexion the lip it's not going to look exactly like you thought it would but it's still giving it's still giving okay it's still giving i forgot to do my lip liner i'm gonna do it now you make me do it's not sharp one, but i don't want to stress myself on sharp it. So I'm someone who doesn't like to like eliminate my what do you call it? Is it Cupid's bow? Because I think it looks so pretty. Like I know the trend right now is to like brown it out. But I prefer not to. Like come on now. Why would I round this goodness out? How would I make it rounder? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So after I go in with my lipstick, finally, last but not least, lip gloss. This is also random lip gloss I found at the mall. I used to be using Fenty, and yeah, my mother was sponsoring me. But now I'm broke and I'm going back to using random lip gloss. Let me tell you something, it works just as good. And that is the makeup look anyway now time to deal with the hair let's take a moment to appreciate how healthy and juicy my hair looks and today is friday which means tomorrow is my wash day this is one day before wash day if you don't know i wash my hair every week i have a wash day video here about my wash day routine and this is my hair one day before my wash day like look at how good it looks don't talk to me anyhow like look at this and that is one of the benefits of washing your hair every week i thought they were lying i thought they were lying i thought they were bamboozling me okay i think the problem is i don't want to go too deep into talking about this i think the problem is they've told us that if you wash your hair every week you probably don't have the greatest length retention you will be able to grow a same hair but when i was thinking about it i was like okay you've been on your natural hair journey for five years you still don't have wasting hair but you're still depriving yourself of doing things like washing your hair every week because you have hope that if you do protective styles long enough you have wasted hair i'm like girl you don't stop that right now and enjoy your hair you know while you are young and stop protecting it because what are you protecting it from anyway that's it that's another topic for another day <laughs> That's another topic for another day. Mind you, I'm not saying protective styles are bad. Let's not go there. Too much labor. So, so far the hair is cooperating with me. I'm just going to do like my go-to style. I actually wanted to try a new hairstyle today, but I was like, not in this video. Not in this video. I actually experimented with it a little bit. Um, it's a hairstyle inspired by my mom, actually. She has been begging me to do the hairstyle but you know you know sometimes yeah people will tell you to do something and you're like this thing will not fit me it fits you but like i just feel like i couldn't pull it off because my mom is a baddie okay 
and everything looks good on her and i'm like girl you're not about to sabotage me but i tried it and it actually looked good maybe i'll make a short video about it first and then we'll see if the short video is up before i upload this video i will link the video up here so you can see the hairstyle i'm talking about my mom always does that hairstyle you yeah, think too, too much labor all the average fluff okay <clears throat> you have natural hair you have to fluff but i want a center part my hair is like really big really dense but sometimes yeah it just looks like really flat like especially if i've had it in braids or twist for a long time it would really pretend that it is not big that's because i have like i think i have i have um high density fine strands i'm not going to go into what that means but if you know what that means you know what i'm talking about it's high density but the strands are fine so when i put it in braids or something it just compresses into a small tiny thing One thing about me, I don't know how to part my hair. But trust me, even if you don't know how to do hair, you can do your hair. Um, that's something I've learned. <laughs> even if you don't know how to do hair, you can do your hair. Just remember that. Always remember that. So look at how I'm just parting it. I will twist this up. Okay. You make me do too much labor all day, every day. Therapist, mother, name me, then I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. So that you never lift a finger 24 7 baby machine. So he can leave out his picket trick tree. It's not. You make me, you make me do too much labor. Alright. Okay, I'm not satisfied with how the back looks. So I'm just going to fluff it. I'm going to fluff it off camera because I don't have the strength. <laughs> okay, I finished fluffing it out. And honestly, I think it looks better in person than it looks on the video. I don't know if I'm tripping. Maybe I am. All right, so this one's at the front. I'm just going to talk behind ear and bobby pin. Okay, bobby pin. I'm going to use like three pins. With the first one, smooth again. Second one, okay, again, and pin. So, like, you can separate your hair to like kind of cover the bobby pins. This is literally my favorite hairstyle to do myself. I always feel like a princess. Okay, so now I'm just going to accessorize. Not doing too much today. Also, just the earrings. Who says I can't wear my Converse? And bracelet. Bracelet was given to me by my grandma. Grandma, she had me feeling like I was in a movie. She was like, come my daughter, I have this bracelet for you. Really cute. And then I have to moisturize my dry, dry, dry hands. My hands are always so dry. Anyway, now I'm off to Bazaari. Well, you had me from the start. By the way you said, the way you wrote it for me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong. So, I'm here, I'm waiting for my friend, and just being socially awkward. So, I ended up getting from the place that was entering my eye.
This is actually upstairs, but we came up. There are so many things. There's the Jordan corner, Asian. I think there was one Mexican yeah. down there, Mexican taco door. Why chose this one? So advertising works. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong. The signals got crossed. And now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were. When no one gets hurt. from so many restaurants like this one is for chicken this one is for rice wait they still chicken. have isn't it one i have again meal okay, no, okay, like, yeah, yeah, for the same. <laughs> <laughs> and then different one for juice <laughs> buffalo chicken wings barbecue chicken wings what's this one again with thai thai fried rice i think yeah And then a healthy juice. This is ginger and some fruits. I can't remember. We have to. People are actually buying headphones for 1000 gel. Interesting. One day. They look nice though. They look nice and they have a case. Cute. As in, look at how cute this bag is. It fits me. Uh, it fits your whole For 770 gel. <laughs> Oh, this is for IG. Oh, no, send me out of this shop. Oh, it's only your and then look at this one. Like this one. Oh my god, look at this. I like this clay bag somehow, somehow. Mm -hmm. I've not heard of this designer before. For a laugh. What is that? What did you like? Like some one. Sure. I'm using 10k something. Look at the stickers. I think this dog is supposed to be a black dog. Boy, it's sus. Like, why is it looking like this? So, right now I'm with Oin Damola, and the link to her channel is in the description. She also has a YouTube channel, she makes vlogs and all that stuff. Make sure to subscribe to her channel. We're done! <laughs> So we've literally looked at all the clothes in the mall and walked up and down, so it's time to go home. I had a good day, it's time to go home.